my friends uh, welcome back to another collecting video um, okay I hope all of you are well fit and well today I'm going to take you a bit off the beaten track uh, to what we normally do um, we're going to have a look at some gaming promotional material and uh, pre-order material that, uh, that I've assembled over the years. Um, it's not a, a massive collection but um, it, uh, it's interesting as much as you know you, you don't see this stuff around too much especially the promotional stuff. Um, I mean anybody <clears throat> anybody who watches uh, this channel and watches any of the Destiny pickups will know that I'm a big fan of, of promotional material, uh, promotional items because simply because you know you, video comes out, you go to Amazon, you pay your money, two months later <clears throat> it arrives, you know, and uh, that, that's that's the process, but with with promotional stuff, um, it takes a bit of effort, let's put it that way, uh, I mean I'm on eBay twice, sometimes three times a week looking for uh, for Destiny promotional stuff because uh, it's stuff that really interests me, you know, because it's not it's not commercial. Um, it's not stuff that you can just go out and buy, um, you know, the way the way you normally would. Um, so yeah, I've 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 gathered together all of the stuff that I mean, I've probably got a few more bits and pieces lying around, but uh, <coughs> I've put together, you know, the sort of the core the core stuff that I've got. Um, so let's have a look at it. Um, Okay, we'll start with this one because I just got this. Um, I just got this in the post on Saturday, I think it was, a couple of days ago. Um, <clears throat> now, um, what, but when Battleboard came out, they did they did two main promotions. One was a set of um, trading cards, which I'll show you in a minute, and um, the other promotion. I can't remember what you had to do to get these. I mean, luckily, I've got some friends um, in gaming shops and I was given a few of these, but I didn't get the complete set. Just, that comes in just a little, little bubble wrap thing. And um, this was the last one I needed to, to collect the set of these five little... I mean, I mean they're, only, they're only small figurines, but they're very well... They're very well made, very well detailed. I can't remember all the character names. I did play the game briefly, but these these are five of the characters that um, kind of came as promotional items. Um, I say four of these were given to me, and the other one I I recently bought because I hate I hate incompleteness. Anybody, anybody who's played Battle Ball will know that. I think this one's called, this one's called Miko. As I remember, but as I say, for, uh, for promotional items, they're very, they're very well made, very detailed. Um, you have to be careful with them because they're quite, quite thimmer. Um Yeah, I mean, I was quite taken with these when. When I first got them, and I, and I, so I just got round to completing the, completing the, uh, oops, stuff falling over here, the complete set. Um, I wish they would do some more stuff like this. Um, <coughs> it's well worth. Well worth the trouble. I mean, I mean, you know, so these go. I don't know these go for an average of around ten to fifteen quid each now because, you know, they are. I would imagine, reasonably scarce. Um, certainly not rare, but you know, you don't see many of them about. Um, I think I paid twelve for that one. I didn't have, so I have got the others for nothing. So. I'm not complaining at all. Yeah, that was those, those five little figurines. Now also Battleborn did a um they did a complete set of um of, of trading cards. 
Um, I won't go through all of them, but just give you a brief antenna. That was one of the figurines I just showed you. Um, yeah, I think it was a set of 25 or so, and then there was a few, a few extra ones that build up into a, into a big, one big card if you if you kind of join them all together. Um, so that was, I mean, these came in blind bags, so you know it wasn't easy to put together a complete set of these. But as I say, I had friends in in shops who actually gave me a load of these blind bags and I was able to I was able to cobble together a, a full set. I've got I've got a barrel load of, of duplicates. So if any of you out there are looking to complete your set of these, you need the odd one or whatever, um, contact me via the comments and I'll I'll see what I can do for you. <coughs> right um Badges, right, yep, yeah, these are little, little promotional badges that came with, with For Honor. Did a very nice set of steelbooks. By the way, I'm excluding any, from this video, I'm excluding any um, Destiny stuff because I've shown all that. And, and any steelbooks, uh, obviously a lot, they used to do a lot of promo steelbooks, pre-order steelbooks rather, in the past. I'm just showing you stuff outside of those two areas because I've already shown them. Um, yeah, that was a nice little set of Verona badges that they did. Um, and then they did a set for, for Overwatch as well. It's quite a prop, popular first person shooter. Never actually played it myself. Too busy playing Destiny, but uh, yeah, five, five nice little badges there um, <clears throat> that they did. Um, yeah, this was a weird one. This was just like um, a little metal frame type of thing for the Evil Within 2 metal poster and uh, that's basically about the right way. It was that. So it's just a little tin. But uh, yeah, another little promotional item that I managed to pick up along the way. Um, this is one little problem. Uh, I think it was a pre-order item they did for Rodeo, which was a, a Wii U game that uh, didn't sell many. So <clears throat> most of you probably, <laughs> probably haven't seen this. Uh, just a little pendant thing there. Um, the pre-order bonus. Um, now they, these two, I'm not. I'm not really sure about they they obviously came with um, came with one of the Disney games um, little key ring there obviously oh why well, this will be from uh, from Mario would you imagine that's one of the Mario characters and uh, this one of course is is Toad is from I told you here yeah. uh, Super Mario Brothers 2 yeah some little promotional items there I don't think they were pre-orders so uh, there was um, this little key ring I'm not sure I'm sure what that's from some of you might recognize it but yeah as I say just some little promotional items that I managed to pick up along the way um, th these were a couple of pre-order, I haven't actually opened these so you won't be able to see them, I'll keep them sealed. There's some little figurines from the Pokemon uh, Alpha Sapphire, nice steel books they were. Um, Pokemon Omega Ruby they were for the 3DS. And as I say they did in a couple of very nice little little steel books that they were pre-order items for. Um, right, what do we have here? Right, this is um, <coughs> this is a promotional lanyard from Call of Duty Black Ops 3. It's the usual stuff. Quite a well-made one. This actually normally they're they're a lot smaller. But um, yeah, that was that. And then. Um, 
show you these. I'll get to the back ones later. Um, now, I said I was going to show any steel books. These are actually um, tin cases. They're sort of like some alloy. Uh, certainly not steel books by any stretch of the imagination. And uh, this was um, a pre order item for Brothers in Arms on the Road to Hill 30 on the PC. Um, basically, you just got a, this sort of embossed. And you got a little disc inside with some promotional material on. I, I thought it was interesting that one because um, it's uh, it's not often you get um, anything like that as a as a. I think I don't know whether it's promotional or pre-order. It might have been both. Got a little book with it as well. But um, yeah, certainly one that uh, that I quite like, and this is probably um, could be in better condition. This one, this is probably one of the earliest um, pre-orders that uh, that I can remember. Uh, Return to Castle Wolfenstein. I mean, that's a very old PC game, and basically the idea was that if you pre-ordered. Um, you got the game in the tin. There's the game tin, but also you got these little um, pre-order items. Now, that's obviously the. I would imagine that's the manual that goes with the game, but um, here you have a, a poster, a little poster from the game, um, and there were. There were a couple of um, kind of degrees of pre-order. If you ordered it early, you got a little patch, which I don't have. This is a, obviously a later pre-order. Um, I didn't pre-order it. I picked it up later. But I think there was a patch and, and possibly something else. Um, so in the earlier you the earlier you pre-ordered it, the, the more stuff you got. But I've just got the poster, unfortunately. But um, it's certainly better than nothing. And probably one of the earliest examples of a of a steel tin as well. Uh, prior to you know a lot, a lot of many years prior to steel books. So there we have that. Um, sorry about that. There's somebody at the front door. Um, these were just a couple of little promos for one of the DC games. Uh, that's obviously the Flash on there. And that one will be, will be Batman, just little little wristbands. I can't actually remember what I got those for or when. Um, right, now, this is one of my favourites. It came with, <coughs> came with the very first... I hope somebody's going to answer that. This was one of my earlier pre-orders from the from the Bayonetta game. Uh, I think Game did it. Um, it came actually after the game was released, and it's actually missing a little thing on the end there, which uh, unfortunately my cat knocked it over and um, it, it got detached. But I'm going to try and glue it back one of these days. But yeah, I mean that's one of my favourite pre-orders of all time. You get a little, you get a little stand with it as well uh, to put it on, and uh, yeah, that's one of my one of my favourite things pre-order wise. I'll just get it to rest there without falling over. We got it right. Okay, now um, this this particular pre-order is an interesting one, in as much as. Game did a, a series of um, slip covers for All Stars Battle Royal. I think there were four of them, um, and they all had Jack and Daxter, and you've got Sackboy, and then you've got the guy out of um, <laughs> yeah <laughs> Nathan somebody Nathan Drake is it? 
Um, can't remember the name of the flaming game. But uh, yeah, I, I've managed to pick up three out of the four, I think they did. Um, and these are very, very scarce. Very hard to find. Um, I've not managed to find the other one, in, and I look quite uh, frequently for them. Uh, but, um, yeah, I mean, that's a case of... Um, I mean, I, I don't, I don't, I very rarely call anything rare, but those are going on towards rare because I, I assume they're only a limited, a limited number done, and you know, kids tend to, when they trade them in, they tend to whip them off, uh, and they'll get lost or thrown in the bin, you know. Um, so yeah, those. Uh, if if you are a if you are a um, slipcase collector believe me those are going to give you some trouble right let's just move bayonet here so i can get to the rest of the stuff right um forza one of my favorite racing franchises they did a couple of little offers that was a was a key ring that came with forza six as part of the pre-order and then with Forza 7, you've got this Porsche model. And then with Forza Horizon 3, you've got another, another model. Um, what that one is, I think it's a Lamborghini. And as you can see there, they're one, one forty-three scale. So you know, they're, but they're quite, quite detailed when you, when you see them. Um, and say, so I, I don't know why Forza didn't, um, didn't continue uh, with those, but that was the only two that they did. Um, this was a little item that came with Splinter Cell Blacklist. Um, Bullets, and then there were a couple of. Let me stretch over to get them. There were a couple of little items that came as pre-orders with. I think this. I think this was American. This one, so I've got the American version of this. Um, the art prototype. I believe that came as a pre-order with that game. Um, a little. Sort of mini art book for uh, no, I think it's a notebook with a couple of pictures in. Yeah, there's a picture there, and um, that came with Diablo 3 as a pre order, I believe. And I think this was a promotional item for Beyond Two Souls. Um, basically just a set of postcards but you had these I forget what they call these but they use them in tests don't they for people psychic uh, with psychic abilities or whatever yeah. so yeah there was a set of I think five or six of, of those postcards that uh, came in a little slip case there and that was for the PS3 version of on two souls if I can get them back in. Um, and then last but not least, this was a, a case of where um the bayonet there two for the Wii U. Um, this was a case of where if you pre-ordered you got a, a special edition as I remember and uh, this edition has uh, Bayonetta 1 and 2 inside the games. I think you had to pre-order it to get those. Um, I won't unpackage it because it will take forever. But um, just an example of of, of where, where a pre-order gives you gives you a bit uh, a bit more. So yeah, that was it for the I could find for the game stuff. Um, it might be worth mentioning that if you're a film fan, <coughs> um, 
I remember when I went to see the second Maleficent film they were given away this Halloween pack. Now, um, it, it won't be, you know, they're, they're, you know, they're probably printed by the hundreds of thousands, I would think. Um, there were certainly quite a few of them knocking around when I went to see the film and um, I got a couple of these. Um, but um, what I will say is it's worth hanging on to stuff like that if you're a film fan or a film collector <clears throat> because um, that sort of stuff, um, you only see it um, when people like me um, show a video because, you know, it's throwaway material really. People will get it, kids will play with it ruin it chuck it away it'll go in the bin um but um you know if you can if you can keep a keep a sealed one uh, for future reference you know it might be an interesting collector's item for for later on so yeah there we have it folks that's my little collection of promotional and pre-order items um i just thought it would uh, would make a change from the from the usual stuff i show you i hope you enjoyed that um I'll be back. I'll be back shortly. Um, I'm thinking of doing a. I've never done one of these before. But I'm thinking of actually doing a um, a destiny video, um, not showing stuff, just um, giving my um, wisdom about um, passing on my wisdom about what I think of of the game over six years that I've played it. Um, as uh, you know, I don't know if anybody would be interested in that sort of thing. Please let me know if uh, if you, the Destiny fans out there, if you'd like to see it, um, and just you know, just sort of give give the point of view of the older player, if you like. Um, you know, the the player who's not twenty anymore, uh, who doesn't have the reflexes and the hand-eye coordination that um, younger players have. Uh, it might be handy for noobs as well. So yeah, I'm thinking of doing that, so uh, that might be up and coming in a week or two. <clears throat> but anyway, thanks for watching this one, and uh, keep well everybody, and uh, I'll see you shortly. Bye-bye now.